Hello and welcome to the Oma Show. Today I'm going to talk about nine worst skincare products to use. This episode of the Oma Show is sponsored by Analema. Analema is a clear quartz crystal tube filled with special mother water that transforms regular water into a supercharged full spectrum coherent state. Analema helps in biological age rejuvenation, balancing of the brain waves and increased vitality. More about it coming soon. I'm not here to tell you what you should and shouldn't buy. Instead, I want to help you make better choices based on your personal skincare needs. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> So what are the worst skincare products? Well, it's a toss up. You could say that some of them are bad, but there are certain products that are worse than others. We all want to look and feel good, right? But what do you do when your skincare products are not making you look or feel good? The first thing to remember is that there is no best or magic product. What works for one person may not work for another. And your skin type will be different from someone else's. So I believe you don't need to go out and buy the latest and the greatest thing in order to look and feel good. It's no secret that the skincare industry is full of products that promise more than they deliver. And here I've got you covered with a list of the worst skincare products to use according to me. My first up is Face wipes. Face wipes can disrupt the pH balance of skin, which can cause a wide range of problems like breakout, dryness and irritation because it interferes with the skin barrier. Wipes are usually made from all natural ingredients such as cotton and aloe vera, but I don't recommend them because they are not designed for cleansing your face. They are meant to remove makeup and dirt from your face, not cleanse it. And most of the time, they don't even do that properly. They contain ingredients that can remove natural oils from your skin, which can contribute to acne breakout and leave you with very dry and disturbed skin. Face wipes are also loaded with alcohol, which can dry out your skin and cause it to become red or burn. Physical exfoliants. With large particles, physical exfoliators that use rough or larger particles are too harsh for the skin and can actually cause micro tears at the skin surface. In addition, these types of products can cause irritation, redness and peeling too, which is in most cases not good. Avoid using these types of products on acne prone or sensitive skin as they can actually worsen existing problems with breakouts or irritation. If you have sensitive skin then look for a gentle option like very mild peels or something that you can do at home with home care products or in, in the kitchen shelf. My next product is lip balm. If you have been using lip balms for a while, you probably don't question the effectiveness of the product. It's soothing on chapped lips and it feels good to apply. Lip balms are commonly viewed as a way to protect your lips from dryness. They're also used to help keep lips moist throughout the day, but they can actually make them drier over time. That's because they contain several ingredients, including menthol, phenol and salicylic acid that make your lip drier as time goes by. The problem is that these ingredients also cause irritation in other parts of your body like your nose, throat and eyes making it difficult for these areas to heal properly after exposure to these substances. If you're constantly exposed to them over an extended period of time, it could cause chronic inflammation in your body, which can result in severe health problems later on. Some lip balms are also very addictive. So once you use them, you feel like using them constantly. So your skin on the lips become even more drier and you get used to using these lip balms constantly because your lips are addicted to this ingredient that your lip balm has. 
Some lip balms also actually numb your lips. So be very careful before you use something like that. There are so many natural alternatives to lip balms. I have never been a big fan of lip balms, so be careful before you get onto them or if you're using them already, find out the ingredients that this has, the lip balm that you're using. And if you find any of these symptoms, then maybe get into the depth of it. The next up, very hot water. According to dermatologists, washing your face with hot water can damage the skin, very hot water. This is because it increases the chances of causing dehydration and irritation. Hot water should not be used to wash your face because it may cause burns also. It can also dry out the skin leading to wrinkles and premature aging. Hot water should not be used to cleanse your hair as well. Talking about water, let's talk about analemma. Analemma is a revolutionary new device that radically changes the state of drinking water. It powerfully enhances the properties of water by rearranging the H2O molecules into a liquid crystalline structure. That structure and its stability has a remarkable influence on all living things. The technology was created by two scientists in the Netherlands after over 13 years of research and development. Through their research, the scientists discovered several aspects of water that were known in the past but not studied sufficiently in modern science. They found that water is a broadband absorber of electromagnetic frequencies and this ability rests in the structure of water. Due to various environmental reasons, H2O molecules in drinking water behave in chaotic and irregular manner. Water molecules are constantly crashing into each other. This happens on an atomic level, so we are completely unaware of it. By swirling the analemma through the water, those same H2O molecules start forming a liquid crystalline structure. They start linking together and behaving harmonically. Through that unique process, water becomes empowered, energized and alive. Analemma is a clear quartz crystal tube filled with special mother water that transforms regular water into a supercharged, full-spectrum, coherent state. It takes one full year to create the mother water. Now, the next up is toothpaste on your skin. Toothpaste is this famous do-it-yourself remedy for blackheads or for breakouts. But experts say using toothpaste on your face can lead to burns and even infections. If you have used toothpaste on your pimples before, you may have noticed them turn red post the usage. This is because toothpaste has strong ingredients which can irritate your skin barrier. Toothpaste contains peroxide which can cause severe chemical burns if it comes in contact with sensitive or damaged skin. The same goes for makeup remover wipes which contains alcohol or other harsh chemicals. Using these products on your face can cause irritation and redness in the area around where you've applied them even if you're not applying them directly on the breakouts or blemishes. If you have sensitive skin, it's best to avoid using these products altogether. If you do end up using one of these products, try switching over to something gentler. Just make sure you don't let it get into your open wounds or cuts on your face or body. That includes under your nails. Now, let's talk about bar soaps. You clean your face with bar soap to remove the dirt and excessive oil. But in that process, you cannot afford to lose the natural oils or the sebum that keep your skin hydrated. Bar soaps remove the natural oils from your skin and make it dry, rough and even itchy. Soaps are also a major cause of acne. They contain high concentration of sodium lauryl sulfate, SLS, which is one of the most common ingredients in commercial soaps and cleansers. SLS can create irritation to sensitive skin, leading to breakouts and redness. If you have acne-prone skin, you should avoid these products 
at all costs. Next up, wax. When it comes to facial hair removal, there are a few options available. The first option is to wax or shave. Waxing is an excellent alternative for individuals with sensitive skin and those who dislike the feel of hair on the face. However, it may lead to ingrown hair sensitivity to the sun, rashes and in some cases scarring as well. Shaving can also be used by individuals with sensitive skin but the main drawback here is that shaving can result in ingrown hair which cause discomfort and infection. Next up is sugar. You have been told that sugar is a great exfoliant and can help with your skin but sugar can be harsh on the skin if not used properly. Sugar is a common ingredient in many do-it-yourself face scrubs. While it has some wonderful exfoliant qualities, I use it too sometimes, it can be abrasive for your skin. Usage can lead to irritation, redness and dryness of the skin, if not used gently. Sugar can hurt your skin with scratches which cause micro tears. The problem is that most people don't know how much sugar they are actually using when making their own homemade face scrub. This leads to an uneven application and an overabundance of sugar that may be too much for sensitive or even problematic skin types. Products having harmful chemicals. Don't use products having harmful ingredients like parabens, sulfate. Paraben are found in soaps, moisturizers and other personal care items. They have been linked to hormone disruption and cancer development in studies. Don't use products with mineral oil or petroleum. Mineral oil is derived from petroleum and is often used as a cheaper alternative to other oils such as olive oil or coconut oil on the market today because it melts at room temperature instead of body temperature which makes it easier to apply on skin without leaving a greasy feeling behind after you wash off the product with water or another cleanser. As you can see some skincare products are more popular than others but there are definitely others that are not so popular. So these are some of my worst skincare products that you can use. You might have your own list. It will be great for you to share with them. Uh, there are a few more that I could add to this list. But I feel like these are one of those that are very commonly used. Like the face wipes. There are just so many available. And you get into a beauty store and they are just right there at the counter. So it's so easy to pick up. And they always interfere with skin barrier. Petroleum jellies, so easy to pick up, uh, harsh exfoliants, so, so many available. So if you're a little conscious about the products you're using already and if, you're, if you have any of these products in your beauty routine right now, then be careful. They might be causing uh, long-term effect and issues uh, that you will, if you, it may suit you right now, but you might just face those issues later on. So be conscious about that. That was the idea of creating this video. I hope you like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already like the video and add a comment below so that I know who's watching. And if you have any questions, please reach out. I'll con connect with you. This is it for today. If you want to check out my online courses, please go on The Omar Show and check out 7 Day Facelift as well as Holistic Skin Care Masterclass. And if you're a professional and you want to learn neo lifting, check out my academy website, proageaestheticsacademy.com. See you next time. Till then, lots of love and health. Na 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 na